Hi, this is Steve Reedy, and today's topic, we're going to be speaking about the amount of homes that were repossessed in 2010. Foreclosures were at a record high in the past year, with more than 1 million people losing their homes, even as notices started leveling off during the end of the year. In total, there were nearly 2.9 million foreclosure notices filed during the year. Now it's a record high, but just 1.7% above 2009. It most certainly would have been higher had notices not plunged in November and December as banks halted tens of thousands of foreclosures in the face of the robo-signing scandal. Total properties receiving foreclosure filings would have easily exceeded 3 million households in 2010 had it not been for the fourth quarter drop in foreclosure activity. Many of the foreclosure proceedings that were stopped in the late year, which we estimate may be as high as a quarter million, will likely be restarted and added to the numbers of in early 2011. For the fourth consecutive year, our nation's state that led the foreclosure market is Nevada, with one of every 11 households there receiving at least one filing in the past year. And still, that constituted a 5.3 improvement from the year earlier. The past year was a rough one for the mortgage industry, too. The big news was the robo-signing scandal. That erupted in the fall amid allegations that banks were foreclosing on homes without even having read the documentation. President Obama's efforts to fend off the foreclosures foundered as the year wore on and the potential for ever more massive foreclosures ballooned. At the beginning of the year, the bloom had not yet faded from Obama's HAMP program. That's the Home Affordable Modification Program. And many analysts were optimistic it would help many people save their homes. But by April, it came much apparent that the program was losing the foreclosure fight. There were reports of 10 new defaults for every HAMP modification, and the projections for the number of borrowers who would actually receive a HAMP modification had nosedived to 1 million, projected from 4 million. Then the next shoot to drop came in June. This was with a report from Fitch Ratings that showed the HAMP modifications redefaulting at a higher clip. The company forecasts that nearly 75% of all HAMP modifications would ultimately fail, and those people would ultimately have to move out of their homes too. The foreclosure prevention program really started to fade by midsummer. Fewer than 37,000 loans received a HAMP modification, and in July, more than 50,000 were less from the month earlier. Only 435,000 loans had gotten permanent modifications through this program. The next few years could be very difficult for the housing industry. Well, what does this mean for you? For the seller, lower equity positions. For the buyer, higher inventory. You're going to have your choice of properties to choose from, and you're going to have better pricing. Well, I look forward to helping you, and this is Steve Reedy. Please call me. I'm at 248-840-6555 or email steve at stevereedy.com.